tahniah. Siaran langsung ini dibawakan khas kepada anda oleh Akademi Youtuber Malaysia. Sebuah inisiatif Edidik Malaysia dan Kelab Guru Malaysia. Tumbukan perhatian anda. Siaran langsung akan bermula sebentar lagi. Link sijil akan diberikan di hujung siaran ini. Pastikan diisi dalam tempoh yang ditetapkan. Terima kasih. Good evening, teachers, parents and all the wonderful students. Welcome to Pusat Tuition Academy YouTuber. Bermula percuma selamanya percuma. How are you all doing today? I hope all of you are ready for today's lesson. Before we proceed, let's begin our session with Umu Kitab Al-Fatiha. Let me introduce myself to those who don't know me. I am Teacher Shirley, the moderator of the day. We at Pusat Dishan Academy YouTuber will provide you with free online classes. So, take this opportunity to do your revision. Are you ready? Let me introduce our teacher for today's lesson. We have teacher Aisha from SMK Meranti Pasimas Kelantan. We are now live on teacher Aisha's channel. Please support her channel by clicking subscribe now. The topic for today's lesson is preposition of time. And together with us, we also have Madam Fiza who is in charge of technical support. Madam Fiza is from SMK Section 4, Bandar Kira Kuchong. And also Madam Gan from SMK King George 5, Seremban, as observer to ensure the smoothness of our lesson. So before we begin, I have a few reminders to all of you. First, please pay attention to our lesson. Stop chatting and use the chat section wisely. Number two, regarding certificate link. The link will be given at the end of our session. Please use EDD account where you fill in your particulars. And make sure to listen to the passcode given by the presenter or me at the end of the lesson and fill in the form within the time limit which is 30 minutes so without further ado let's welcome Jegu Aisha thank you teacher Shirley hi assalamualaikum and very good evening to all welcome again to my tuition online percuma uh, sekali percuma, selama-lamanya percuma di Akademi YouTuber. Okay, so uh, today, um, thank you also to uh, Madam Gan uh, and Madam Filza for being here with us tonight. Alright, so um, let me share my screen. Okay. Okay, can you see my slide? Yes, but not in full. All right. Okay. I, all right. Now, <clears throat> okay. Is it in full screen now? My slide? Uh, yes. not not yet, not yet. I think oh you God. uh you click um uh, from beginning. Try to click at from beginning. All right. Again. Okay. So let me set this. All right. Okay, yes, now it's uh, in full slide. 
All right. Okay, so uh, let's let's start our class. Okay, uh, this is my first slide, and this is my channel uh, banner. Okay, this is my channel banner. Learn English with Cikgu Aisha. All right. So for today's uh, tonight's uh, class, the topic is prepositions of time. Okay. So here are the teachers uh, in English secondary uh, school, okay, English language secondary school of IU, okay. So these are the teachers who contribute in the video playlist, and these are the teachers that uh, giving uh, live classes every week, okay. So this is uh, me. Okay, my channel is Learning English with Chigo Aisha, and with us also tonight is Madam Gan. Okay, her channel is Educator Omnitube. Uh, next one is Madam Filza or Chigo Filza, and her channel is Teachers Life Lead. And last but not least is Teacher Shirley, and her channel is Shirley Jet. So please visit our channel. And check out all the videos uh, that we have uh, put inside the channel and make sure to subscribe our channel. Okay. So here are the playlists. Okay. This is the playlist for English SPM. All right. HTTP bit.ly English SPM 219. And this is the, the link for pt3 playlist okay http bit.ly english pt3 so this uh list will be shared to you in the uh chat box uh later okay right these are a few examples some examples of my uh, videos in my channel so you can go and check them out right right so are you ready uh Teacher Aisha, I think yeah. the students are excited for the first digit. All right. Okay. <laughs> Always forgot, right? Okay, the so first. the first digit. Okay, so for you to claim your uh, <coughs> your credit, your rec so you need to record. <coughs> record it, right? So to record the credit, you need the code. So here, are, uh, here is the first digit of the code. Okay. The first digit of the code is eight. All right, eight. Eight, okay, eight. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, eight. All right, you got it? Okay, I have some, some voices, background voices. Is it mine? Right, mine. <laughs> Sorry about the the uh, the the noise, the noise at the back. All right, now so let's continue. Hello. Hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. All right, <laughs> because okay. I only can see the my 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 monitor. Okay, so I don't know what happened out there. Okay, everything so everything is okay. Everything is okay. Okay, so let's proceed with our class okay let's start our class so our topic for tonight is prepositions of time okay so in previous two classes uh, we have learned about prepositions of uh, place and prepositions of movement so the next prepositions is prepositions of time okay the first preposition is at i'm sure you already know the preposition at but this is might be your revision tonight okay so when do we use at we can use at with time the exact time for example at seven o'clock at six o'clock the exact time okay next we can use at with night at night okay at night then we can use at at uh, holidays without day yeah? with holidays without day we use at for example at lantern for festival or at uh, at christmas okay so without day we use at 
let's look, uh, let's look at the example in sentence. Okay, she wakes up at 6 o'clock in the morning. Okay, so 6 o'clock we use at. Next, she will be reaching Kuala Lumpur at night. Okay, at night. And the next example is she will dance at Lantern Festival next week. So at here. Right, so <clears throat> that is for preposition at. Okay, next preposition is in. Okay. In. Okay, we use preposition in with the morning, in the morning, in the afternoon, and in the uh, evening. Okay, in the morning, in the evening, and in the afternoon. Next, we use with seasons. In winter, in summer, in spring, in autumn. Okay, so we use in with all the seasons. Next, we use... Teacher Aisha. Yeah. Uh, there is some uh, Rosina Razuan saying that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, morning, afternoon, and evening, we use in. Only mm. night, we use at. Yes. Is that right? right? Yes, correct. Yes. Only night, we use at. Okay. Morning, evening, afternoon, we use in. Okay, and then there is, a, there is a question from Muhammad Cairo Fitri. Mm -hmm. Okay, he's asking teacher, what's mean? What's meant by holiday without day? Uh, holiday without day. For example, um, Christmas. If we want to say, okay, uh, it's um, Christmas if. Okay, so if after the Christmas. There is the word if, so we use um, in Christmas if. Uh, uh, on Christmas if, not in, on Christmas if. Okay? Uh, but without the if or without the Christmas day, so we use on Christmas day. But without day, we use at Christmas. That means holidays, oh. any holidays without day. After yeah. the 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 holidays after the holidays okay without the mm -hmm. day so okay, that very is the, clear uh -huh. okay so shall we continue yeah sure okay so next in we use also with years so for example in two to 2021 all right we also use with decade uh decades eh? In 70s, in the 70s, in the 80s, okay? Next, we also use with the centuries, okay? In the 21st centuries, okay? We use in. And we also use in with months, okay? In February, in January, in April. Okay, let's check the example in sentence. Flowers begin to bloom in spring. Okay, so this is season. Next, let's go fishing in the morning. So, uh, this this group, okay. Next is she graduated from National University in 2007. So, for years, we use in. Right? Teacher in. Aisha, yeah. uh, Shabi, Shabini asks, mm -hmm. how about in the Babali Festival? Is that right? In FIFA on 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 in the in the uh, in the Pavali festival in the Pavali Pavali the Pavali festival yes it's on it's not on, on right. okay uh, uh, it's on the Pavali festival oh right. right it's on right festival festival is it day in... Is it day, Shavini? No, okay, like, then... lantern, like lantern fast festival lah. So it's at lah, at 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 at, 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 the, at, Bali at, uh, at okay. the Bali festival. at the Bali festival. And oh. then Adib say, Mama Adib say, my birthday in January. Uh, my birthday is in January. Yes, in January. Okay, thank you. Right, it's in January. Okay, so on. Okay, next is preposition on. We use with days of the week. 
So, for example, on Sunday, on Monday, right? Next is on the 25th days of the month, okay? Days, how many days of the month? It's on the 25th days. It's on the 24th, 30th, okay? Days of the month. Next is on April 5th. It's the dates on 1st of April, on 5th of April, or on April 5th. So, it is if it's the date, so we use on, right? And then on National Day, okay? Holidays with day. Now, the National Day, other day kat the, uh, at the back, ni. so we use on, okay? All right, big. So, example, we visited our uncle on Friday, days of the week. We, the concert will be held on National Day because other day, okay? And she lives for Paris on the 1st of February. So, this is for dates. So, we use on. Clear? Clear? Okay. <clears throat> so Any far, question? no question yet. No Does question. everyone understand? All right. So for it's also um at 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 also we use with the weekend at the weekend, right? We don't use with uh on the weekend, right? We use at the weekend <clears throat> because it's not uh specific specific uh the it's kalau on kita specific sikit kalau uh if uh at uh the uh big big range the big. Okay, okay, kita try exercise, exercise one, try answer this, okay, uh, try to answer this question, okay, type your answers uh, in the chat box, okay, farmers pick cherries, summer, okay, summer, is it in, is it on, is it at, okay, type your answer in the chat box now, okay, okay any answer? Uh, three of them say in. So they say in. Shanya say in. Koratu say in. Most of them say in. Hmm. Okay. So because it's season, right? So it's season. We use in. Correct. It's in summer. Okay. All right. Next question. Okay. Next question. Ready? Okay. Number two. Molly's birthday is. Tuesday, so we have only two days to prepare a surprise party. Okay, is it in or on or at? Okay, Tuesday, days of the week. What preposition we use with days of the week? Okay, is Shavini, say, Shavini say on, Hidayah say on. Okay, all of them say on, no other Ooh. answer. All right, very good. All right, yes, the answer is on, okay, because days of the week. If you jot down the notes that I've shared with you just now, so you can answer this question correctly. Okay, next, number three. Blank, Father's Day, I will give a nice present to my father. Okay, Father's Day, okay, a celebration a holiday, a celebration with day. I will give a nice present to my father. So is it in or on or at? Uh, Afa Dani said on. Mm. Okay, and then Bashini said on. Soteswari said on. Raufi okay, said on. on. All right. Everyone said on. Jung Hao said on. Okay, correct. It's on. You can see here. It's there. So, we use preposition on. Okay, next question. Okay, the football match is 8 o'clock. Shall we watch it together? Okay, it's time now at the exact time. 8 o'clock. So, we use preposition in or on or at. Okay, type your answer. Amir is the first one to answer. Amir okay. Zul say eight. Then mm. Adlina say eight. Mm. Ayuni also say eight. Mm. Okay. Tomorrow Nuru is a eight. Everyone eight. say eight. I think there's right. no other answers. There's no other answers except eight. All right. Correct. Yes. Eight. It's 
at 8 o'clock. Very good. Okay. So, last question for this uh, first part. Okay. Teacher Five. Aisha, yeah? before we go for the last one, I think the students are waiting for the second <laughs> Second Second digit. Why yeah. don't I finish this question first? Okay. Okay. Don't go anywhere. We won't be. We, uh, we. I will give it to you after this question, okay? Because this is the last question for this part. Okay. Try answer to this question first. I get up early in uh, the morning and have a big breakfast. Okay. Preposition E on X. Okay. What's your answer? Huh. So that's what he said. Very fast. Uh. So that's what he said. In. Uh huh. Jung Hao say in. Uh huh. Mi also answer in. Uh huh. Noru Shahira also answer in. Sanya also answer in. I think uh. everyone copy each other's answer. No other answers besides from in. <laughs> okay, I'm sure you know the answer, right? Because it's very easy. Morning, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. Yes, the answer is in. Okay, very good. I'm sure all of you got. Five over five, right? So now let me give you the second digit. I've given the first digit, and now the second digit is two. Okay, number two. Okay, the second digit is number two. Jot it down, okay? Jot it down so that you won't forget. All right, got it? Okay, now shall we continue or shall we proceed with the next notes, with the next slide? Okay? All right. Oh, there's more questions. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> I forgot. I forgot. One I forgot. more question. No, there's another five questions, actually. I add, I add at the last minute. <laughs> okay, let's try again. Okay, fill in the blank, okay? Now, now there's no choices for you to choose. You must know the answer. Okay, use in, on, or at. Okay, number six. I'll be back half an hour. What prepositions should we use here? Okay, Cairo Fitri answer in. Then Ayuni answer at. Juhimi answer at. Shavini answer in. Adit answer in. All right. Afrik so answer at. In and okay. at. So in and at. So what is the correct answer? I hope the answers will come out. Yes, it's in. Okay, in half an hour. Okay, it's not at half an hour because at is exact, exact time. At 8 o'clock. At nine o'clock, it's exact. Yeah, the time is exact. Uh, but half an hour is not exact. It's, it's a duration, yeah? range, half an hour. So it's not exact <coughs> time. Okay, so we use in half an hour. Okay. Okay. Next number seven. They were at school. Uh, I think I mistake the... All right. They were at school. Okay. The blank is before two. Before two. Okay. Here is the blank. So, I, I cannot uh, uh, correct the error. Okay. Because my, my PowerPoint uh, has no special tools. So, I cannot use pen. So... It's, they were at school, blank, 2 o'clock. Okay. Okay, the st students have already given the answer. Cairo okay. say on. Adip Hazimi say at. Do two answers only? No, this one I don't really know how to read the name. Sandy, yeah, I think. And, forgive me, it's wrong. Eh? <laughs> Sanya. Okay, two, huh? Sanya said at. Uh -huh. And then Nurin said at. All right. So let's 
check the answer. Yes, it's at. Okay, it's at at two o'clock because it's the exact time. Okay, at two o'clock. Okay. So <clears throat> next question. In summer, he always goes jogging Sundays. Okay, Sundays. In summer, he always goes jogging Sundays. Okay, it's days of the week. Every Sunday. Okay, so what is the preposition that we should use here? Okay, so Tak that's yeah, Ari. Hmm? So that's Ari say on. Hmm? So ten say on. Hmm? Mui say on. Hmm? Bashini say on. Mm -hmm. Noreen said on. I think everyone okay. answer on. Okay. Yes, Sundays. On Sundays. Very good. On Sundays. Okay. So it's days of the week. Okay. It's his habit and it, he does it every Sundays. So we say on Sundays. Okay. Next, number nine. Carol got married. 1994 okay now it's the year okay it's the year so what's the preposition that we use with years okay carol got married okay what is the answer type it down in the chat box now okay deva shri say in jung hao say in okay Okay, and then I think our father needs to say on. On? Okay. And then no ring say in. Majority answer in. In, I said, all right. Oh, alpha. In. Alpha. Majority okay, in. Alpha. Yeah, but it's actually in alpha. In, okay? Because it year. With year, you we use in. Okay? In 1994, in 2021, okay? So remember, with years, we use in. Okay, and okay, now, number 10. She started dancing, six, and now she's a great star. She started dancing, six, and now she's a great star. Right, so what's the answer? Okay, Juhimi say at. Then uh, Alpha Danish also answer at. I think most of them answer at. Muhammad Khairul also answer at. Okay. Kuratu also answer at. Shafimi okay. also answer at. I think everyone okay. answer at. They copy okay. each other's answer. Okay, very <laughs> good. Okay, it is at. Okay. So at six, and now she's a great star. Okay. Okay, so that's the exercise one. That's all for exercise one. We continue with next preposition, which is two. Okay, preposition two. Can we continue? <clears throat> okay, so two. Okay, we use two. To show the end of limit of a range or period of time. End of limit. Okay. For example, okay, we only work from Monday to Friday. So Friday is end of limit for us to work. Okay. Or my father works from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. So 6 p.m. is end of limit for my father to work okay and teacher Aisha yeah okay uh I, I, it's almost time for break ah all right uh let me finish with number three okay, okay. Uh, example number three he reached the railway station at a quarter to nine okay so nine is the uh end of limit of a range or period of time okay so let's take a break for one minute. Don't go away. Stay tuned. Wow, banyaknya hadiah menarik menanti anda. 
Wah, kini Akademi Youtuber mengambil inisiatif baru Di mana memberikan hadiah-hadiah ini secara percuma Ya, percuma kepada anda semua Hmm, bagaimana caranya dengan mengikuti kelas tuition online percuma Akademi Youtuber sambil mengutip mata kredit? Anda dapat menukarkannya dengan hadiah-hadiah yang menarik ini. Tunggu apa lagi? Segalanya percuma. Dan lepaskan peluang tau. Dah dapat banyak hadiah menarik, takkan nak lepaskan peluang. Layari www.academyyoutuber.com sekarang untuk maklumat lanjut. Okay, we're back? Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Alright, so let's continue. Okay, so you have seen... Uh, Very fabulous uh, rewards that you might get if you claim the credits. Okay, so don't go away. Stay with us until the end so that you will get all the four codes for you to get the credits. All right, so now we continue. Okay, shall we continue with the next slide? Okay, <clears throat> next preposition is before. Okay, before. So before... We use uh, to show the earlier than somebody or something. Okay. Earlier than somebody or something. Okay. So, example, brush your teeth before going to bed. So, that uh, something is bad. Before going to bed. So, you brush your teeth. Okay. Next, I will visit my grandparents before leaving for London. So, before you go to London, you visit your grandparents. Okay, so that is before. And before, <coughs> before noon, you have to finish your homework. We have to finish our homework before noon. So, earlier than. Eh? Before maksudnya, earlier. It means earlier than. Somebody or something. Okay, that is before. Okay, next, during. Okay, during. Preposition during. It's at some point in a period of time. Okay, at some point in a period of time. Okay, for example, it rained during the football match. So, the period of time is football match, 90 minutes. So, in this period of time, it rained. Now, that is du during. It rained during the football match. Maybe after 45 minutes, uh, the game, then it started to rain so it rained during the football match okay or the children fell asleep during the journey okay during the journey the children fell asleep okay that is during some point in a period of time and another example is many soldiers died during the war. Okay, for example, if the war uh, take took three years. So, during these three years, many soldiers died. Okay. Maybe during the first years. All right, next. After. Preposition after. Okay, after. Later than something. Uh, uh, before. Earlier than something or somebody. But after is opposite of before. Later than something. Okay, example. We shall be going for a movie after dinner. Okay, dinner is that something. Number two. She will be meeting her friends after lunch. Okay. And number three. The prefect stayed back after assembly. Okay, this is after very easy to understand. Okay, till or until. Okay, preposition till or until. Okay, from now to the time mentioned. Okay, from now to the time mentioned. For example, okay, he's staying in London until the 30th. So, this is now. Okay, from now until the 30th. So, <clears throat> within this time, he staying in London. 
Okay, it's duration. Okay, now to the 30th, we use until. Example, he waited for me till midnight. Okay, from now until midnight. Okay. Number two, we are not going home until he finishes his homework. So his homework finishes his homework is time mentioned. Okay. From now until finishes his homework. So we use until. Okay. Number three, she will be in Kuala Lumpur from Monday till Thursday. So now is Monday. Thursday is <coughs> the time mentioned. And he will stay in London, uh, in Kuala Lumpur until Thursday. Okay, that is till or until. Teacher Any Aisha, question? yeah, there are a few students who ask what's the mm -hmm. difference between till and until? Are they uh, synonyms? Yeah, yeah, synonyms. Same thing, till, until. Can use both. Okay, yeah, the same until. thing, yeah? it's the yeah, same. Yeah, same thing. That's why it's till, until. It's the same thing. Okay. And then there is a question from Jesse Divadas who asks, uh, during and sejak, is it the same? Hmm? During? during and sejak. In Bahasa Melayu, sejak, sejak. Sejak oh, dari sejak. itu. Uh, uh. During. Uh, I think it's sem semasa. Yeah, during is semasa. Not sejak. Sejak is uh, another since, word. Since. Ah, since. Yeah. It's since. Sejak is since. Okay. Sejak, sejak means in the past. Okay. During, within, uh, in the present. Okay. Or not the present juga. Okay. But it's not since. Okay. It's semasa. During a period of time, something happened. Ah, that's why you do, use during. Uh, next. By. Not later than the time mentioned. Okay, not later. By is not later than the time mentioned. Okay, so the time mentioned. You cannot uh, uh, beyond. Cannot uh, after. Okay, not later. I mean, maknanya cannot. Pro, uh, what do you call that? Mm. Uh, okay, let's say this is the time mentioned. Monday, okay. So, not later, okay? Cannot cross this Monday, okay? Please send me the information by Monday. So, uh, the the end of limit is Monday. You must send the information before Monday or uh, on Monday. Cannot after Monday. Uh, that is by, okay? That is what preposition by means. Okay, by here it says single event. Okay, single event. So, <clears throat> so here you can send this. Away. Let's say now is um, Saturday. So, from Saturday to Monday, there are how many days? Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Okay, three days. So, you may send the information on Saturday or Sunday. And last, you can send on Monday. But you cannot send on Tuesday. Okay, that's the limit for you to send the information. So, by means not letter, the time mentioned. For example, all students have to pass their homework by this Saturday. So, you cannot send, uh, you cannot pass your homework uh, later than Saturday. Okay? Or, I need to bake a cake by tonight. Okay, so by tonight. You must bake your cake. Okay? <clears throat> so, by mean later than the time mentioned. So, tonight is the time mentioned. Cannot more than, cannot later than, cannot after tonight or this Saturday. That is by. Okay, from. From is used to show when something starts. Uh, when something starts, you use. From, for example, okay, from 5 July to 10 July, okay? So, 5 July is that something starts, okay? Okay, for example, the exhibition was from 5 July to 10 July. So, exhibition start on 5 July. 
Okay, number two, we are at the library 7 a.m. to uh, 9 a.m. From. I missed the word from, right? Should be from here. We are at the library from 7 a.m. till 9 p.m. So, number three, this is May father works. This is my, oh, so many typo. Okay, my father works from morning till night. So, from here is when your father start to work. Okay. Okay, next is four. Four. Okay, four is used to show a length of time. A length of time, okay? For example, <clears throat> we have been coming here for five years. Okay, so uh, here you 2013 and until now, for example, now is 2018. So for five years, you have been coming here. Okay, this is the length of time. So if you want to show the length of time, you use four, okay, a quantity of time. Okay, for example, they have been waiting for the bus for an hour. So this is length of time, hour, okay, an hour. Okay, since, okay, since, what is sir? In, in Bahasa Melayu is sir, sejak. Right, so since is uh, from a point of time to now, a point of time. Uh, okay, what does it mean? Okay, for example, okay, the <coughs> uh, 2013 is the a point of time, okay? We have been coming here since 2013, okay? To now. Now is 2018, for example, okay? So, since is a past time, okay? Not uh, for just now is a length of time, right? So, since is the time, the point of time, the time that you start to uh, go there. Go here. Okay, where is here? I don't know. Okay, wherever lah. Okay, for example, they have been waiting to see the principal since morning. Okay. Morning is the point of time. Until when? Until now. Okay, until now. <clears throat> okay, or at the mention uh, of time. At that time lah. Okay, or number two, I have been practicing since yesterday. Okay, since yesterday. Okay, you, so you have been practicing. You start practicing yesterday until now. So we use since yesterday. Okay. Teacher Aisha, mm -hmm. I think uh, Jung Hao is, uh, is asking for the third court. Oh, oh. <laughs> wow, wait. Okay. Uh, I will give you another before we start the next exercise, okay? Don't go away. Huh. Yes, mm -hmm. thank you. <laughs> it's already the next exercise. Like you know. <laughs> All right. I will give you the third digit of the code, okay? So, now get ready. Okay? The third code. Uh, the third digit of the code is eight. Eight. Okay, it's eight. Okay. Do you get it? Did you get it? It's eight. Okay. All right. Very good. Okay. So. Uh, did you jot down all the notes that I've shared with you? I hope so. So, now let's try to do exercise two. Okay, are you ready? Okay, we have 10 questions. Okay. Now, <clears throat> question number one. I'll be at the office. I will be at the office, 7 o'clock. I'll be at the office, 7 o'clock. Okay, what is the preposition? 
that we should use here. I'll be at the office. It's a in future. Okay. What is the preposition here? Uh, before that, Teacher Aisha, Shabini wants to say, Teacher Aisha, I love your voice. It's so sweet. <laughs> thank you, Shabini. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Ha, huh, what's your answer? Can you answer this question? What's the proposition for this question? I'll be at the office seven o'clock. Is there an answer? Okay, yeah. there are some okay. answers. There are some answers here. Uh -huh. Okay, um, Koratu say eh, na na ni eh, na ni ta say eh, tau fix say eh. Okay, and then tau fix say before. Nuri say before. Okay, so before, before, uh, mostly before. Most of them answer before. Okay, let's check the answer. It's until. Okay, I'll be at the office until 7 o'clock. Not before 7 o'clock, until 7 o'clock. Okay? It's in future. Okay? It's end of the time. 7 o'clock is end of the time. Okay? Okay, number two. I suddenly felt ill. The examination. Suddenly felt ill. The examination. Some, something happened. Something happened. In a period of time. So, what is the preposition here? You felt ill. The examination is going on. Okay, Jung Hao answered before. Okay, and then so thank answer during. Mm -hmm. Are you need during? Mm -hmm. Then mostly most of them answer during. Mm. All right, so let's check the answer. Yes, it's during. Okay, because you felt it during the examination. The examination start you okay, and then during in the middle of the examination, you suddenly felt ill. So. When something happened in the middle of something, so we use during. Okay? During. Okay, next. Number three. They were working in the garden. Three o'clock, seven o'clock. Huh, are the two, two a point time here. Okay. One is start, one is end. Okay, so what preposition do we use? Start of something and end of something. Okay. Answers? Okay, come we on, students. Has the answer? We have so an far, answers? no. I no think answers? the students are still thinking of uh, are still thinking for the answers. Okay. They, um Nuri no, Nurin no say from the first one mm, from second mm. one until and then Cairo say from till and Kurato say at until then Rosina say from until mm, now fix okay. say from till okay. Safia say from till okay. majority from. answer from until from till okay. then Sutain so. say from to okay from to okay if we use antiput it's correct okay they were working in the garden from three o'clock till seven o'clock is correct from three o'clock to seven o'clock is also correct so from how, one yes how about until how about until ah, it's from correct. three o'clock until, until, until seven o'clock okay because until to show end of time okay okay two until end okay correct and two until and two till until okay next four the book was easy to read so i read it a day okay so i read it a day okay what is the preposition the book was easy to read so i read it i read it i read it a day uh, kalau kita if 
we translate to Bahasa Melayu, the book was easy to read. Uh, buku itu mudah untuk dibaca. So, I read it. Jadi, saya membacanya apa? A day. Okay, so Aku. 10 say 4. Okay, and then Cairo Fitri say in, in a day. Okay, and then uh, Atika say by a day. Afadani say in a day. Bashini say for a day. Hmm. Okay, one more. Nanita say by a day. So there are three mm. different answers. Right. For, in, by. All right. Okay, for, in, by. Okay, so it's in. Okay, so I read in a day. Okay, in a day. Dalam satu hari je, I baca cerita ni. Sebab senang sangat. Right? Okay, number five. They have lived there 20 years. Okay, they have lived, have lived there 20 years. Okay, uh, okay, 20 years. So, what is the preposition here? They have lived there 20 years. Uh, okay, 20 years is the length of time. Okay, what preposition that we use with the length of time to show the length of time? Pashini answers since, since 20 years. Atika also says since 20 years. Or Aisha says for 20 years. Taufik says for 20 years. Afadani says for 20 years. Mm, right. So but since and for. Yeah. So the answer is for. Okay. It's for 20 years because it's the length of time. How long? How long have they been living there? How long have they lived there? So how long? For 20 years. Okay. Remember if uh, here before the prepositions shows uh, numbers, okay, 20 years or three years or uh, five years. Okay. That is four. Okay. Kalau uh, ada years here atau days for uh, a few days for a few days. Okay, a range of period, kita guna four. We use four. Okay, number six. We were at the party midnight. We were at the party midnight. Okay, what the preposition here? Remember, we were at the party midnight. So, midnight here shows end of time, right? End of time. So, if end of time, we use what preposition? We were at the party. Amil said till, till mm -hmm. midnight. Afadani said on midnight. Then Jesse Tibada said since midnight. Rosaina said until midnight. Okay, Alfka said till midnight. Mm, so right. Tang said until midnight. Okay. So, the answer is until midnight, okay, or till midnight, okay. We were at the party until midnight or till midnight. Sehingga, sehingga tengah malam. Uh, right. Okay, number seven. Okay, there's six more questions. Eh, six, four more questions. Okay, I saw him the morning. Uh, very simple. I saw him the morning. Okay. Your answer? Fast, fast, fast. Okay, uh, Amir say in the morning. Yeah. Okay, but how about the rest of the students? Okay, uh, Sadia say in the morning. Yeah, okay, it's in the morning. In the morning, yeah. correct, in the morning. Okay, next. I did my homework, all right, the evening. I did my homework, the evening. Okay, is it? Tau Taufik say in. Mm. Yeah. Shavini say in. Mm. Then, okay. One more. Major majority answer in. Yes, okay. Um, okay. In. Yep, correct. I, in the evening. Okay. Next question. He learned to drive a lorry three weeks. 
he learned to drive a lorry three weeks. Okay. What is the answer? <clears throat> he learned to drive a, a lorry three weeks. It's okay. the same on, as... I may say on, on three weeks. On, on. Uh, and then uh, I usually say four, three weeks. Afar Danish say four, three weeks. Four. Okay. How about the other students? Kairu Fitri say four. Mm. All right. So the answer is? In three weeks, okay. He learned to drive a lorry in three weeks. Um, we cannot use four here because uh, four we use uh, the sentence in the sentence that is in present perfect, in perfect tense. No perfect tense, okay. He have learned mm -hmm. That's right. to drive a lorry yeah. for three weeks, okay. So four only with present perfect or past perfect okay yes here is past tense so we don't use uh preposition for so it's in in three weeks okay okay last question he waited they were quiet he waited they were quiet hmm. he waited to do something he won't to do something but they were very noisy so he waited they were quiet all right so the preposition here okay uh kairo fitri say until so things say until i think majority until mm, all right majority yes, until. Correct. it's until okay very good so I'm sure all of you get more than five, correct, right? Teacher Aisha. Yep. Do we forget something? Yeah, almost. Okay, that's <laughs> okay. That's the end of my slide. Okay. Before that, before that, okay. So uh, first, thank you. Okay, thank you for joining us tonight for coming to this class. Okay, and then forget to subscribe to my channel this is my channel and you can also visit this link to vote for me that give five stars and give any suggestion uh any suggestion that you want okay so the last digit the last digit i will give you the last digit for the credit claim okay it's number nine it's number nine okay it's number nine one more time number nine okay thank you all for joining us tonight thank you bye bye i <coughs> sorry okay back to you uh teacher shelly okay we are done with today's session yeah, okay we have learned a lot from teacher Aisha about preposition of time. Okay, so congratulations to those who are able to follow our session from the beginning till the end. And thank you very much, teacher Aisha, for such an interesting lesson. Okay, before I provide the certificate link, okay, please off the live chat button. Okay, and click subscribe button if you haven't. Okay, this is to show your appreciation to teacher Aisha for giving you such a wonderful lesson today. Oh, all right. Uh, one more. My username. Okay. <laughs> I will type my username. Okay. Continue, Madam Sh uh, Teacher Shelly. Okay. Don't forget to click the bell button too, so you won't miss out any new videos and live classes from Teacher Aisha. Okay. If you like today's class, okay, please click like and share it with your friends. Okay. Let's share the knowledge you received today with them. Okay, when you have finished, type done in the chat session, then we will give you the certificate link. Okay, once again, I want to remind all of you to fill in using EDD account. If you are watching using another email account like Google account, then switch to EDD account. Okay, the link will only be active in 30 minutes. Okay, please click and fill in the form with the correct spelling. Okay, to those who haven't joined EDD Junior Telegram, please do so if you want to get more information 
you can go to www.academyyoutuber.com. Okay, so once again, I would like to thank teacher Aisha for our for her interesting lesson today. Okay, and thanks also to teacher Fiza and teacher Gan for being with us today. Okay, I think that's all for now. Okay, see you in another session on Friday, 5 o'clock with teacher Fiza. Okay, goodbye everyone. Bye. Assalamualaikum. See bye, you on bye, Friday. Bye, see you. Okay, bye bye. Okay, teacher Aisha. Wow, banyaknya hadiah menarik menanti anda. Wah, kini Akademi Youtuber mengambil inisiatif baru di mana memberikan hadiah-hadiah ini secara percuma. Ya, percuma kepada anda semua. Hmm, bagaimana caranya dengan mengikuti kelas tuition online percuma Akademi Youtuber sambil mengutip mata kredit Anda dapat menukarkannya dengan hadiah-hadiah yang menarik ini Tunggu apa lagi? Segalanya percuma Jangan lepaskan peluang tau Dah dapat banyak hadiah menarik, takkan nak lepaskan peluang Layari www.academyyoutuber.com sekarang untuk maklumat lanjut. Dibawakan kepada anda oleh Academy Youtuber.